Everybody, happy Monday. Welcome back to Adobe Live. Happy Monday, Andrea. My name happy is Monday, Alexis Alexa. Bustos. I am your host today with the lovely Andrea Marquez. Um, welcome back. This is your second stream. How are yes. you feeling? Good, good. Excited to be here. Like, happy Monday, oh, everyone. Yes. Happy Monday. It feels like a Monday. We're here to make it feel like it isn't Monday. We're here to make it feel like it's Friday. Yes. Um, we're really excited about, about the stream today. Um, where are you joining us from today, Andrea? I'm joining from Miami, Venezuela, but I live in Miami. Nice. Oh my gosh. So it must be beautiful. Yeah. I'm assuming. It's <laughs> actually really, really beautiful today. Well, that's awesome. I hope everybody is uh, comfortable where they are. Um, we really are excited. Uh, today, it looks like we have, uh, at the end of the stream, you guys, we have in a daily creative challenge with Brandon Gross continuing from last week. So hopefully everybody can have a great project to work on today. Um, wow, this is going to be, and then tomorrow we have an artist spotlight who I'm very excited to see. And if, uh, so if anybody has an artist they want to spotlight, today or tomorrow is your chance to, to be able to nominate someone you know. Um, I'm excited to get started. Why don't we just do that? Okay, yes. Can you, can you tell us all about yourself? Yes, let me, oh, awesome. I have a little presentation over here. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain a little bit uh, about this project so you guys like more. All right, so my name is Andrea Marquez. Um, usually you can uh, see me in every social platform as Ansiosa. I'm a graphic designer. I started as a graphic designer and then I study uh, motion, animation, uh, 3D. Um, I, I was actually working for uh, at least five years in UX UI without like studying it, like in an institution or something. It was like more like, like um, intuition, uh, research and uh, learning things by myself, but I really love uh, UX UI. And last year, I had um, the, the, the opportunity to went to Iderhack and um, I actually did the bootcamp and I learned like a couple things that I, I knew that I could like, um, like get better. Um, yes. And so, yes, this is my second live stream, like on, on Adobe Live. And when I got the invitation, I was like, yes, I, I love to be there. And I started to think, because the last time I was doing a, a creative app, like to kind of like to create your illustrations and add motion and share it mm -hmm. uh, with, with, your, with your friends. And this one, I wanted to do like something cool, different, fun. And I was, I, I guess for a week, just like thinking and thinking and trying to come up with an idea. And I couldn't, and I was like, okay, so, I need to get like some motivation, like start like doing kind of like my routines. So I usually like do a, a list, um, watch uh, different movies, like different that the ones that I used to, to, to see, to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, I start like reading books, um, exercise, music. I, I was just like, I need to get like an idea some way and to then, stimulate your ideas. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then it hit me. It was like, I'm, I'm, I'm I have a, a lack of motivation. And I think this is something that happened to everyone that is on design or creating some type of uh, project. Like sometimes you need to like uh, explore how you can like boost your motivation. So I was like, I, I get, I guess that's the, that's the idea. That's the concept. So, but I, I, I kind of have like a, like different, um, like methods or activities that I do, but I wanted to know more 
you know, like not even like what is an internet or what um, people uh, um, like say on, on, on different blogs. I wanted to know like the real people, like what does the creative people do to get like the, this motivation? So in my social media, oops, here. I start asking like, what motivates you? Mm -hmm. Like when you feel down, like what do you do to, you know, like to lift you up? And I got so many responses. It was amazing. It was like kind of like a, my, my, my user uh, research, uh, but with like everyone was like so helpful. And like, I, I really loved like mm. to validate like what I was like researching and like find like as um as uh, information, like but like seeing how people was applying, but actually adding like different stuff. So with all that, I was able to create Lift You Up, it's kind of like a, um, a guide. Uh, uh, it shows you like the process of uh, the motivation itself. So you can understand it and, and actually start applying different stuff because Motivation is something that sometimes it's not like something that we can, you know, like I'm motivated or I'm not. It's just like something that we need to like kind of like train our brain or, or apply different stuff that we can actually um, boost that 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 mm -hmm. feeling. So today we're going to review some illustrations in Illustrator um, that I create for for my for this uh, project. And we're going to design uh, the, like actually make the design and the structure of the landing page. And tomorrow we're going to animate it, make the, connect all the screens, you make like the prototype. And I have a really cool uh, tips and tricks for uh, animation and prototyping in XD. So I want I'm excited to share it with you. This is awesome. I'm very excited. This is going to be a stream that is a feast for the eyes, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I actually, um, you know, that um, usually, like sometimes you, you can find like different websites that are like really colorful, but the best practice in UX UI, actually, you need to minimize it. When, mm -hmm. when these projects are like, for me, you know, that I'm like the one saying, like, I want this color, I go crazy with color. So this is going to be <laughs> really awesome. colorful. And you had your start in illustration, correct? So you have a lot of, do you, are all these illustrations kind of your own? Yes, actually, awesome. um, let me, let me show you because. That is awesome. Uh, and here in Illustrator, I just did kind of like the, the shapes, right? Mm -hmm. Um. And these plants over here are actually my plants. I took a oh photo. <laughs> <laughs> I took a photo with the iPad, and with Illustrator on the iPad, I I draw it with the with the pencil. And wow. um, so I, I just wanted to. I'm obsessed with like nature and the plants, especially since we're in like uh, pandemic mode. I start to buy and and and, and like. Um, full, add full more <laughs> yes add more plants <laughs> so i feel like kind of like i'm up outside while i'm working mm -hmm. and i create like different like elements like text elements uh, but it's really uh, like simple i actually all the colors all this the like the fin finish uh touches i put it in on um, xd Okay. Um, okay. I'm obsessed with XD. I don't know. I'm using it now for social media presentations, illustration, and besides UX So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I just mm, make these elements, and Great. I kind of like created my system over here. I have all my colors you see in this panel, uh, I determine my fonts to be the H1, H2, so it's easier for me, um, especially- And when you're designing, do you, would do you create these first, do you create the system first or is this as you're going and creating? No, no, no. this is as I'm going. This is okay. actually, this is a good uh, um, question you asked. 
because this is how it starts. Oh. So I had a, I had an idea like this is kind of like the the, the sketch, no? Um, I had a, an idea the um, um, of more or less like the layout that I wanted, mm -hmm. and and this before was like a random font, but once I I just like determined like the font that I wanted to have, I kind of like added to see if it looks good. Okay, so I determined the size is good, and then I basically um it's more or less this but without color um but more like with the shapes the illustrations like the sex um uh spacing and everything mm -hmm. and once i determine like the color then i create my design system so Got probably it. i'll say like sometimes i do it in the middle or at the end um but yeah i i usually don't start with the design system because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wanted to give like that space for me to be creative and see what is really going to be instead of like put myself Signing. you know yes mm. like this is gonna, gonna I'm gonna use and that's it so kind of like Love that. but I'll, for... let get, I'll let you get started um I was just gonna say uh, really quickly you know, if anybody has any questions, I, I want I want the chat to be you're also involved in the stream. If if anyone has any questions about um, how you know how Andrea gets started with her designs, you know, it seems like she's got a wealth of knowledge not just from the you know UX UI side of things, but also just from like creatively how to start a project. I feel like that wireframe was like really like a great example. Like you started with an element and then built around it, like the font. Right. Yes. And kind of was like, what's your center place? What's your hold? So um, this is this is the time to kind of start. You're, you're giving us the intro. And so I want to make sure, Pat, if you have any questions about starting your work and getting motivated to start a project about motivation, <laughs> you're, this is your person. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I, you know, um, that's that was something that I started like to do with like after I, that I started in, at Ironhack. I never do. I used to never used to um, to do sketches or to define something. I was just like right, right into design for days or weeks. Uh, and 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 when I started studying, they were like, "No, but you need to." And I was like, "I don't want to." But I see the value. Like after I yeah. I really see the value, and now I cannot like start without just like ideas, random lines, uh, kind of like defining all that first oh, awesome so this is really start. exciting yeah <laughs> all right. laura has a quick question about the font specifically what was the uh, what was the name of it the font you're using uh the name is gallery it's gallery like this wow, this is uh -huh. a great Ga Ga gallery modern i love it it's just like so it, it does all the work <laughs> It's so beautiful. It's so great. That's all you need sometimes. This is yes. A good font. A good font. Yes. So uh, the first thing that I did uh, that you can guys can see over here is just I determined how it was going to be uh, like the position of a menu, my icons. I kind of like put um, the two language that um that, that I actually uh, know <laughs> over here and kind of like uh this is a side element it's like i i kind of like little things so adobe live uh times on CSA. so this is this is a project um let's let's create a rectangle over here and even though that we have like the like our screen um to be uh 1920 by if i put it over here it will be uh 1080 i kind of like for this one this project in particular um to make it uh 300 like the the height because we're gonna do um some kind of like parallax movement effects like tomorrow like mm -hmm. with the animation so i just wanted to give like uh a little bit more of space and room for each section the transitions and the animation so for today we're gonna do it like a little bit taller and we're gonna set this one to blue okay 
Okay. My my icons, my um, I just made it a component. I have it as components, but what I have right now is just like the change of colors because since we're using different uh, background colors, I kind of want to make sure to have uh, the the different colors so it's more like that like you have more contrast and you actually can read this. So let's put this. All right. That's great. So you're using the, the state, uh, using different states to just kind of um, kind of start your design and start creating with the variety. Yes. You'll, you'll use those later for like prototyping probably, right? Yes, correct. So I have the logo over here. That was another, another thing because um, once I come up with the idea, I was like, so what's the name it's going to be? And I did on my Instagram, like an AR card that was like, leave you up. I can, I, I guess like in that moment, because I, I, in my social media, what I usually do is to create things about how I'm feeling, like, or something that happened to me. So I kind of like needed that in that moment. And I was like, okay, I guess this can be the name and it will like work. See the chat. Love it. Love this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see. I can read some. Um, there's people that I know here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice. Hi everyone. Hi. Thank you for Hello, being here. Everyone. Yes. Thank you, chat. And if you're just and chat, if you're just joining us, we're with Andrea Marquez on Adobe Live as she designs an inspirational, um, an inspirational interactive. Uh, guide essentially right this is what yes. it is and it's it's already incredibly beautiful because <laughs> Andrea is also an illustrator and so a lot of these elements are kind of you know already fleshed out and I love multidisciplinary um creatives like digital creatives I really feel like you truly are like the unicorn of the <laughs> of the of the uh, of the UX UI world um Okay. So you, yeah. you can just you have an idea you can also just like create all those elements as well um but again if and so if, if anyone's just joining please join us and if anyone's joining from youtube actually please join us over in behance there's a lot of really great um people in the chat there's a lot of really great discussion going on around design um you can see actual behance portfolios here on behance not on youtube so come on over join us the water's great <laughs> the weather's oh, the weather's great <laughs> yes the weather is amazing all right so um kind of like my uh like the first section the intro that i wanted um i just wanted to have like kind of like a door but with a ticket so i create um let's make I kind of I, the same the same way that I did this in Illustrator is like combine a circle with a rectangle just to make the the shape and then I did the outline of the words. Mm. I'm gonna do the same over here, but just to create kind of like the background. I'm gonna set this. To six. See. Uh, Laura asks the re the the reason behind the color your color co uh, choices and combinations. Um, well, um, actually, um, I kind of like define it as my color palette uh, when I create things in, in social media. But besides that, I'm obsessed with painting. Uh, like it's like for a couple of years uh, now. I was uh, used to do like the 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 postcard the cards like put it in places and take the picture all the time. And they had, they had a, I, I guess the first color that I fell in love with was the living coral. Mm. I, I think it was so beautiful. So I, I kind of like used that. I, I, I have it on like notes, uh, shoes, my wow. phone case. It was like- <laughs> Was that so, color of the year last year or no? What was, was the, the 2019? So Gosh, it's, yeah. it's this one it's exactly this one so basically I chose that that color to be kind of like my color because I really mm -hmm. like it 
And then I started like combining like like the the colors uh, that was that were actually like matching and do a good uh, and make a good combination. So I started uh, defining those uh, those colors uh, for me, and I kind of like keep using it as a brand. And I act sometimes that I have to create something. I I. I think no, I'm not going to use those colors anymore. And then I was like, no, I'm going to use it. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist it somehow that is going to look different but cool. And sometimes I add one more or I remove another, but basically are the same. Mm-hmm. And so besides, it really defines your your style. Yeah, like your it allows you to have a you have like seasonal colors for your for your exactly. years. I love that. I love that. Yeah, Living Coral was really, that was, that was definitely, you saw that everywhere too. Yeah. It really, really came out. And uh, I remember, I remember it was like the, I, I, it was the first year that I was here in Miami and the announcement was here and you can see Miami at like a lot of that color. So it was kind of like, I just got access, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, absolutely. You build around that color essentially. And there is, I love that. I love that for your, like your aesthetic with all of your projects. That's awesome. So you kind of, it's, and so that way it remains consistent as well visually. Yes. Because especially, um, I love fonts. So I don't, I don't, I'm like, I'm not married to a font, you know, I I wanted to explore. I want to like sometimes go like full serif abstract, like weird, different, or just, uh, sans serif like super simple like poppins like uh, Montserrat and this is kind of like the middle point like has like the colors to actually um, kind of like maintain the, the aesthetic because like the font is going to be different like the style might be different too but mm. if you you see it like kind of like the same uh, palette you will make like a connection that's what how I <laughs> interpret or my definition of uh, why those colors. Love it. Well, now we have our answer. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a series of random colors. <laughs> uh, Laura says, I need to explore pentatone colors more. Yes, yes. yes you do. <laughs> I mean, we all do. I think this year's is uh, like a yellow, a the yellow, yellow and the gray. Kind of mm-hmm. like the illumination and the dark side. I, I like the the concept. That it was it was cool, especially for this time. That would be a fun a fun stream, just all about color theory. Let's do it. Right, color theory. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do a landing page about like colors and that was the other thing. When I was researching, like for the motivation, mm-hmm. uh, like the colors, it was. I mean, the 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 tone might be different. But actually, it was like more like a lot of colors were like for motivation or were um, the ones that I was using. So I was like, okay, perfect. That was a good thing to sense. So there's a variety of ways. Yeah, color definitely feeds into our emotions, and so with an with a uh, projects all project project all around motivation, it's important to have that. I love that ticket element. <laughs> uh, I I think yes I. Actually, this one I draw it here in XD. Whoa! I didn't. I I didn't uh, do it in in Illustrator. I went straight. I was like, I need a ticket. So and then I start like adding like little little elements. And this plant too was like the top part of one of my plants. And I kind of like have it like us. I love it. So you took um, a photo and then you sketched over it or did you? Yes. And you did that on the iPad? That's brilliant. Love and it. and without, I mean, I love like the, with the last updates that Illustrator has, it's just so easy. I didn't make like any, like, you know, I wasn't like precise on the lines or I, I didn't want that. I, I was I was loving the, the effect that I was just like doing it and, and the yeah. iPad was just doing this job that the illustrator was doing the job actually wow. an actual plant from your house on a screen, <laughs> on your screen. yes uh, all right let me i did 
for the the this part to make more like a like a poem mm. i just did like um here this is super cool too um illustrator has it but i really love that xd it's kind of like smart like the way that the curve you know it follows you so it doesn't look like wacky like the the corners mm -hmm. i love that yeah that's the beauty of these kind of cross uh these this Adobe software across all all realms of creation. You know, there's there's similar elements, there's similar creation techniques throughout their different um, software. So, moving from Illustrator to XD, you know, can feel seamless in that way because of it. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's the lovely part about XD. That's what we like about it for sure. All all in one. If you're already an Adobe mm -hmm. uh, fan. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna do the the border, make it thicker, and then um, forty, and then I'm gonna put seventy. I'm gonna put like round edges, so it looks like a little bit more. Uh -huh. And I then love it. I'm gonna put this. I just don't want it to be so intense. I want it to be more like the focus on here. Hmm. And I'm gonna do the same. Just gonna duplicate it, but this time I'm going to reflect it. And I'm doing uh, the, the, uh, the, the other thing. Um, I'm using this, uh, dotted lines because I love uh, one of the new updates that the that the XD had um, it was like the animation of the strokes mm -hmm. that that uh, update uh, came out like a week after like before I was like working on this project that's so cool because I was like, okay now I can animate like the like the flow we're, we're going to keep adding this uh, type of elements yeah. mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. can animate it like once we're scrolling actually i'm going That's to be put awesome this over here. while i'm watching you work i'm just kind of like there is no excuse for anybody who is uh doesn't feel like they're an illustrator there's no excuse anymore with these tools look at like there's you can you can do all of the line work it exists here if you if andrea can do it and is showing you you can do it um we all should be basically creating our own our own iconography, our own, you know, I think it's just such a great practice for UX and UI designers who don't normally create those elements for themselves. Um, yes, you're motivating me. You're motivating me <laughs> to like make all of my, all of my like graphic iconography that maybe I won't use final, but like, like you're doing it all. Like it's, you can do it in XD. Yes, that's true. If you see like in Illustrator, I just did the, the base. I just, yeah. um, and, and I did it here because I needed the tool, like this tool sure. that you can actually like, uh, like make test, text on the, on the outline. And because I, I brought this from the Illustrator iPad. So, but besides that, I've been using XD just to create so many things. And it's really cool. I think it's sometimes it's just like, because I've, I've been there, like we're scared and it's easier just to look for something that you already know that you like or you don't have time but but definitely like sometimes it's good just to just to try to to create things by yourself just to as a practice or just something that that yeah, you can you just yeah i just feel like there's so many um pre-made kits available that are that are great and beautiful by wonderful illust illustrators but um you tend to UX designers and UI designer or UX designers specifically, you know, can tend to rely heavily on those or know that at some point uh, an illustrator will come in and make something a little bit more beautiful. But I think there's a practice, there's a beautiful practice in creating your own elements and creating your own graphical um, elements and iconography that, yeah, it takes a little bit more work, but you really get to put your style and touch to it and get to practice yes. 
you know, drawing lines, essentially that's, you know, I love going back to whatever, um, whatever software brought you into the creative world. And, you know, it really defines you, right? Like as a creative, like yes. mine was Photoshop, right? Mine so like, too. Yeah. So it's like, there's just so much um, that you carry over as you're, as you're becoming creative, that whatever that first um, software was really kind of establishes you. Um, I actually want to hear more about um, the chat and motivation. There's um, um, uh, Uriel said a really great, had a really great quote in there. And I wanted to say it. My So they said, my whole thing is action leads to motivation. Motivation leads to habit. Correct. Um, and more of that, please, in the chat. Like that's that's what we need to make this chat about. Just motivational um, lines of words that are just gonna like keep us going. Love yes, that. and and it's amazing that you that you mentioned that, real because we're gonna see in the, in the following sections how actually like we 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 just think about motivation as something that we we have sometimes or we don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is a science behind that, like our brain, our body, our behavior, or, or the things that we do, or we're uh, allow allow ourselves to do. It's actually, like it changed. It was so cool, like to do this project and actually like get into that. Because now it's like when I feel uh, off, and I was like, I know what what I need to do now. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. And I love that. That was your ethos with starting this project too, was I'm not feeling motivated. Yeah. Like, and how do I, how do I get out of it? And just diving into what is there about it? Um, yeah. So chat, if there's anything, you know, maybe we can do the same type of question that you had posed to your Instagram or to your socials, which is, you know, what motivates you, you know, what keeps you going? And I'm assuming yeah, a lot of people will have similar answers. Um, yeah. I want to, I want to wild thing. Like share with us, please. Yes, please. I have a, a note uh, over here with my text because English is my second language. So <laughs> just wanted to make sure that I'm not uh, adding any typo over here. I think uh, that's a I think that's a superpower actually for copywriting. Um, people would think that's like harder because uh, I you know a lot of people or people are you know, making websites all over the place. And some, I feel like the majority of the time they're in English, but every time I've worked with someone who has English as a second language, they're so much more diligent about their copywriting to a point where I'm like- Just, you know, all the time that you can be wrong, that that's a like, mistake, that something yes. can be bad. Mm -hmm. And it's really like, you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But so I think it's a superpower because- I can't tell you like how many double checks and triple checks like my team will do to make sure. And it's awesome. Yes. And, uh, you know, um, I, when I was in Venezuela, I actually like did a couple classes of, of English, but it's not like until you have like a conversation, like, like that you're like leaving it, that you mm -hmm. actually start like doing like, all this. So this is my third here here in Miami and Miami is one of those places that you don't need mm -hmm. to know English because yeah. mm -hmm. everyone's going to understand you somehow um but I I had a co-worker uh she is um um Asian and but she but I mean their their parents like she born here but she she didn't understand like any word in Spanish and I have to work so hard like for me to explain her she was doing social media and and every time that I was trying to to explain her idea was like such a mission uh, mm. but yeah I just yeah right now it's... right now I feel comfortable to do this and if you guys it's like amazing. know something that is like that doesn't make sense sorry no <laughs> you're doing great you're doing great I don't think that you have no no issues whatsoever and Adobe Live is is multicultural, man. We got yes, everybody from all true. over the world watching, you know, like I'm sure a lot of people who are maybe like, you know, I want to my copywriting. Maybe I do struggle a little bit because English is my second language or whatnot. You know, yeah, there's Grammarly, there's double checking, there's taking classes, but also who's to, who says that English has to be the only you know, web text out, out there. Yes, we need all, we need all of it, right? 
So that'd be fun to do in Adobe Live with um, you know, all language. words in Spanish. Exactly, in another yes. language. That would be awesome. Yes. Uh, I would Emma. not be able to participate. <laughs> I, I am, uh, I only speak English, sadly, because I am born here and that seems to be the, the vibe <laughs> for the most part. Um, uh, but that would be great, yeah. Santiago asks where you're from originally. I'm from Venezuela. I born and raised there. Um, and I, I lived there um, two, five, four years, three years ago. I was living in Minnesota. And then I moved to, to Chile. And then my husband and I came over here. Where out of all the, um, where do you find the most, where do you feel like your creativity was um, sparked the most out of all the places you've here. You live here? Oh, yes. Okay, I Miami. mean, yes, yeah. Chile is beautiful. I love, I love being there. Um, but I'm, I'm a tropical person. Mm. <laughs> and uh, in Chile, you have like the seasons, you have like the like snow, actually, when, when we were there, like the, the winter. It was really cool to have like that experience, but I, I kind of like every time that I that I feel that I just need to disconnect. I I'm able here just to go to the beach, and just like you know like watch all that and and I love that. I love like the weather. I love like you feel like near like for me, yeah. especially because I'm I'm Hispanic. Uh, here you feel like like home. Mm, I love that. But also, yeah, your your environment, your weather, the weather around you really helps helps really your your create. Some people love the cold, and that inspires people too. You know, like yeah. that's out there too. You just got to find your place. Um, yes, I love that. And I mean, I bet I bet like this, just how Miami looks in general. Right? Actually, you're giving me some Miami vibes with the pinks and the blues, the bright colors, and yes, right. <laughs> Yeah, it's it feels actually, like it feels like I want to go on vacation right now. Honestly, well, you're motivating me to. <laughs> maybe, let me maybe know. Let me vacation. know. I'll take you some places. And oh my um, gosh, love it. I've never been to Miami actually. Well, I want to. I want to go to to California. Oh, it's really so really on my my plans. Bay Area, I got you covered. All right. Well, grounds. we have a we have a double invitation. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. LA is a little far for me, but like you are LA's cool. Friend. I'm in, yeah, I'm in the Bay. I'm in Oakland. Nice. Yeah. All right. So this is so great. If you this see, come along. I continue the like the stroke, but I I make it like separate, just because I wanted to animate this individually and then. Like one, like tomorrow we'll see, but when we're actually like scrolling, mm -hmm. um, this one is going to like start and make like this shape just to point her statement here. That's and for awesome. this one, we're gonna animate it to tomorrow. I love animation, so I'm already like just thinking. So please, if you guys like like the project, like tune in tomorrow because absolutely the animation part is like my thing. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody who's watching, who's uh, I mean, bring your bring your friends. If you have anyone who is learning animation, I feel like we're really gonna see some fun animations, and especially with an XD. You know, that's I've been seeing a lot of really awesome animations like this idea of coming have the ball coming in and out mm -hmm. and the line um it's still pretty new um the line actually line animation so yes. i'm very excited to see it see it work this one's going to be intense because i let tomorrow we're going to animate like each little line just to form mm -hmm. that whole thing so yes like it's gonna be a, a lot of fun tomorrow but today, um... I mean, it's fun right now. I'm having a good time. <laughs> this is so, it's such a beautiful, just such a beautiful sight already. And I'm like, yes, yeah. it's like giving me so much joy <laughs> just being watching it come together, which I hope everyone else is feeling watching, which I'm sure <laughs> everyone else is feeling watching actually. All right. So in this one, 
let's create circle. Can you see? All right. The other thing, um, it's like, I guess, for some people, it's easier to start with like defining the colors. Mm -hmm. um, that I think that's a good good thing to to try to like how everyone like feels about like starting on a new project. Like if you want to like define first the colors or explore. Oh, obviously, if you have a client, you need to like follow and like. Uh, yes, yes. scam a scheme are but if not um i think it's a it's a create a good creative practice just to okay these are these are my colors how like what's the best way to implement them because you start like training your eye and i see yeah you can definitely tell your your technique is more based on um, these graphical elements like I was saying before, the, the you have to you see it as a whole, kind of more as a yes. um, as a whole composition first, um, and then you I see that you kind of fill in as needed, um, which is a, a great way to start any project. Um, love it. And then uh, yeah, go ahead. And then uh, just to like kind of like keep the motivation part. Um, I wanted to like, so after I collect all the ideas, right, the, like uh, I asked in social media, like about what motivates you, um, I kind of wanted to start like with uh, something that you know that this is something like really common that no one like feels like all the time at their 100% or, or like, you know, it's not, it's not something bad either. So it is, I kind of like this statement, like is something that is a discipline, like it's something, it's like a, it's actually a need, like the human being needs you have like a purpose or something like, you know, like keeps mm -hmm. you going. Um, so it's something I wanted to like, kind of like introduce the, the, all the other sections, just like letting you know that that's okay. I just like, let's figure it out doesn't it's not really like a problem to feel like mm. a little bit off especially in this uh pandemic time mm. i guess that was the harder yes. part uh when uh when everything started that you mm. like for me just to like change like the, the office i love being at my house uh but the the like everything is just different. And sometimes you you don't you don't feel like you don't feel like something good's going to come up, but it's okay. We we can we can work on that. It's definitely been a hard time, but um and deaf in your I think you're right on the nose with saying, you know, this has been this is one of those things that's a great need, feeling feeling motivated, understanding how to feel motivated. A lot of people have done a lot of deep diving during this time. So I think this topic is spot on for what's happening right now. Yeah. Yes, because working from home is very different from working in an office, as we've all learned. Some people, yes. some people have adjusted well, some people have not. So, what about you? What did you like better? Oh, it's hard. I mean, I like both, uh, but I, I do like. I didn't like working from home at the start. I think it was I was missing people. I still am more of a people person. But um, nice to be able to kind of get your coffee and s settle in, maybe not have to put, you know, shoes on and, and sit on a train for like a half an hour. <laughs> um, but I also love, I found a lot of, um, I love a good routine. And so I think going into yeah, an office helps really establish important. a routine. Yeah, like uh, it becomes very, it becomes kind of ceremonial. Like I get my coffee, I get... You know, I go dressed. on the train, I listen to a podcast, I get dressed, <laughs> get dressed, <laughs> which are like, you know, no one needs to get dressed anymore, really. That's nice. Um, I like to say, like, all of my shoes look very clean after this year. <laughs> yes, it's just like, oh, nice. 
they they still look like new. They look great. Yeah, I don't have to get any new shoes. No one's seen them. So, um, but for me, I like, yeah, I love, love being in an office with people. So I'm trying to figure out that balance. I'm deaf. Everyone I think is that I've talked to has struggled with finding that motivation and that balance as well. Um, Santiago asks uh, if we can mention a favorite project, favorite project that you've worked on. Oh, I love that. You have a favorite. You should project visit Brazil. Out? I love Brazil. You know, yeah. I haven't been there. Uh, you're from Colombia and you're Brazil. Oh, nice. And you speak the, the three languages. Um, I always wanted to go to Brazil. Isn't is in my plans at some point. Um, and my favorite project, I did on December uh, this uh, last year. I did a project. Uh, it was a final project for for Iron Hack, and um, I'm I'm not the type of person that goes to like the typical e-commerce projects or you know like it's actually yeah. what you do more like when you are working you know yes. so I just wanted to stay away I, every time that I have a opportunity to stay away from that that um, day-to-day work and just try to just try to do something different fun and kind of like learn something in, in, the, in the process especially since it was like the last project I just wanted to 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 feel that after that it was going to be something new. You know, don't don't like do something that I already knew that I can do. So what I did, uh, I, I was two months before that, I started to play with AR. And my I was I I, I create I, you actually guys can see it over here on the is all over my social media but i'm creating 3d uh a little mini me version <laughs> just to just to play around because i always like kind of like draw stories with her like with myself and i love it like doing like doing all those things that you usually i'm not like an influencer or something someone i i cannot like even record myself you know, I'm doing the live and we're good because we're doing a conversation. We're good. Yes, it's but different. I, yeah, I will never see this video. I, I will <laughs> never watch it. I can't. <laughs> so, um, so I was, I was uh, always like creating all these stories, like with my alter ego, I guess. And it helps. And my, it helps, my. I think. Yes, and my my little nephew. He um, he saw the the because I share in my family chat, you know, like those uh, WhatsApp uh, groups, and I shared like, hey, I'm doing this. What do you guys think? I created in 3D, and I was playing with uh, Dovi Arrow, mm -hmm. Arrow, Arrow, yeah. and and um, my little nephew was like, what? What is this? Uh, like, um, auntie? Like, um, he's five. So he was yeah. like, how did you did this? Like, is there an app? Uh, and I was like, no, I created. And I was like, this is so cool. And the, the way that like, he was so excited, I was mm -hmm. like, I was in the same um, kind of like situation that I was with this project that I was looking for inspiration, looking for what I was going to do. And his excitement was just, I need to do something with AR for kids. I need yes. to do. So... I create a prototype. I did a full uh, UX research uh, interviews with the parents, with the kids. Um, I, I, I actually was able to test the AR uh, part of the of the app with kids, like see their reaction, like if it were they like if they they were like engaged to the to the just that part or what yeah. with the app, like. It was really, really cool. Um, in that moment, when I decided to do that, I didn't know like that much about Arrow. And then since it was like, it, it is like, it's a new software. It's not that you can find so many tutorials and in YouTube. 
So it was like figuring it out myself, like how uh-huh. I was going to connect, how I was going to make, you know, like things react one way or, or the other. Right. And I think that has been like the the, the project. The, yeah, because it was, everything was so different, new, like something that I, I never like did before. And to see it, um, like the reaction of the kids and and it was a, it was a, um, a storyteller uh, like an app where the kids could like read or hear stories and the story was actually being played in AR so I you are that. the kid is with, with the iPad and it's basically seeing the story in front of, of in front of him or her um, and you have like the audio you if, if you wanted to hear like there there are things that you could interact like i remember it was a treasure so you have to tap the treasure in order to open right. like tell um it was it was that, does this so project live live um anywhere online um i had a couple uh posts on my instagram okay and and then I'm kind of like putting it into a behance. I wanted to to because right. it was it was more than the visual, you know, it's so totally. much well, behind it. I was gonna ask because if for those who aren't familiar, Adobe Arrow is an Adobe software all around augmented reality, right? And so um, obviously with Andrea's background and I, I would love to see this in action with your background in animation, you know, this is probably a really cool thing. But creating a case study for um an augmented reality type of project is fairly new, right? So yes. maybe we'll keep an eye out for that. But um, yes. that is so awesome. I I I think that definitely is like a bit, maybe not augmented, maybe a little bit of both VR and AR mesh will be kind of the future of where we see interaction sure. interaction design. And so scary at the same time. Because I was doing that because of um, fun. But now it's right. getting serious. Like everything is going through oh, that yeah. direction. And we as designer were like, how much do we need to learn? I love learning. <laughs> but, love it. Yeah. But scary because it's like, do you know where we are? And I mean, not that much, you know, but it's it's um it's something that that yeah, we need to start like doing, I guess, just to yeah, I think, you know, I think as creatives in general, you know, as long as those elements of storytelling and process and inspiration and motivation remain the center of our craft um, and crafting as well, it's, I think the pooling is going to change all the time, right? It's always going to change. It's been changing forever. But um, I think that's my my number one thing to say to people who are trying to come into design or create creative work you know how do I get started and it's like well you gotta kind of find what your essence of why you're doing it because you can't you know once you're an expert at one software that software is going to get updated it's going to change something's going to become more popular so not putting all of your eggs in one basket is the ethos of creative work right yes and and actually that 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 happened to me um, cause I start, um, with graphic design, but I never felt, I love, don't get me wrong. I love mm-hmm. to, to see a beautiful, uh, print product, like layouts. I love it, but it's not for me. It's not something right. that I enjoy to design, even right. though that is more of the same uh, principle when you're doing uh, the layout of the website, mm-hmm. uh, the printing part is used, wasn't my thing <laughs> and yeah. and I was just like okay so I'm just doing branding or I'm mm-hmm. just doing social or by that time when I wasn't in, in graphics I was like no you know I want to do animation too so I started to to study animation but then at towards the end of the career I was like okay but I love websites and I can put the brand in there and I can put the animations there so okay right. let's let's go in that direction and then um it was just one thing and another and then at this point we already have 
yeah, AR coding. I've, I've yeah. been trying to code because that's wow. the, the full combo, but <laughs> I'm too, I'm too to graphic. Full combo. <laughs> oh I'm too gosh. graphic to, to, there's that. Um, yeah, it's a whole, but, it's a whole other, it's a whole other craft in itself, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. That's definitely. But uh, it's, yeah, it's a great. For sure, yeah. Don't, don't, don't settle with just like what you learned yesterday because in this world, it's just like it's moving so fast. I love that. Can you? Can someone put that on a shirt? Don't settle <laughs> for what you learned yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I and I agree. I definitely agree. Um, and I think majority of majority of professional creatives have that as their story, right? It's like I thought I was going to do this. And it turned out it wasn't for me at all, but you're still wanting to stay creative, wanting to stay in a certain type of work and field, you know, uh, digital creative work has been constantly changing for like, what, 15 years now. So yes, it's, it doesn't it's look crazy. anything like it did before. So um, I like to tell people who are like, should I go to college for this? Should I, you know, do a boot camp for this, whatever? I'm just kind of like, yeah, I mean, whatever it like it really comes down to motivation it really comes down to what drives you to do these things and to create these things and um if you don't have that then it's going to be a really an uphill battle as yes. a creative because yeah because yesterday was a whole other thing and tomorrow a whole new update's going to come and a new medium a new format you know a new a new tool of how we yeah, view and now, this work and now uh, you can see well especially with all the apps that are right now um right you you can you can see that people is actually creating like content with with those apps like before that i mean i started with photoshop when i was 15 so um that was the only way you know yeah. like that was the only way to for you to create and then now like it's just like like so much easier like those yeah. things that for us were like little bit complicated yeah yeah and, and it so, really it really comes down to also the idea itself right any way you can tell your story and get your idea out fast or quickly like the better the tool in my opinion and xd definitely fills a lot of that uh, all of those needs those essential needs around like i just need to get this done now quickly so i can build on this idea around this like your idea around this motivational guide and um you know, any, any tool that helps facilitate your creation faster is, is better. Right. At the end of the day, the fastest is what a pen and paper, right? Like yeah. it's great to get an idea down, but like, you know, we're, we're not all, not how we interact with each other anymore. True. Um, Everything is just true or a digital way to oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're about, we're about halfway through the stream and I just want to say hi to anybody who's just joined us. Um, I'm sure people have been coming in and out throughout this hour. Um, we're here with Andrea and we are creating a, um, interact interactive motivational guide today. We're working on the visuals and kind of the layout and composition tomorrow. We'll be doing some awesome um, animation. So definitely come back tomorrow. She's a two day stream. If you're watching yes. from YouTube, we love YouTube, but come over to Behance so you can see these <laughs> projects. In at you can see these projects, case studies at some point. Um, and yeah, just wanted to say hi to everybody, and I'm hope hoping everyone's having a good Monday. And please let us know what motivates you, because this project is all around motivation and um, understanding what you what someone needs to keep going, keep working. So. Yes, and actually, because we were talking about life, <laughs> I yeah. kind of like, I just wanted to go back to the last section just to, before yeah. like kind yeah. of like showing yeah. you mm -hmm. uh, why like the, the boosters. But this, um, I think this was like the most amazing thing that I found when I was like doing the research. Um, yes, it's because so I, I feel like sometimes we, 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 we forget that uh, we're human and like 
There are so many things that, you know, you, you, if you wanted to start, let's say, uh, doing exercise, like the best way is just like do it like once, right. And then do it at the other day and just try like to find something that, that you like, if you hate it or, or, or how do you feel after and, and all those things create like, uh, like the, like a habit, uh, a pleasure or a goal. Like if you want to learn something new like those those things um what i wanted to what what i want to say is just like we're so easy to program Mm -hmm. we're not a software but inside us they're they're like chemical and like different things that actually help us to create uh habits or to to complete like the result that we want like it's, we just need to if you if you close yourself and you and you say like i can i'm not gonna do it and and that's it that's it no one can change right. that but if you if you try and if you um you know try to make things different and and see and and be open to different stuff uh you can actually like make another you know another uh, you like the 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 best way uh that like the the best version of you so mm-hmm. this this was the the first thing that i that i found so the the motivation like you know that sometimes you ate uh things that makes you feel some way or another like sleepier yeah. if you eat pasta and then you have to work that's a terrible idea mm-hmm. delicious but terrible um but sometimes you eat things that um that makes you more awake or happier or um do you, like people that 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 does exercise like how they feel after so the first thing in, in, in this part of motivation is um our behavior that's the the, mm-hmm. the, the, the the level so how many times we're gonna do it how long we're gonna do this activity what activity actually we're going to do and the effort the effort that we're putting into that so if we choose something that uh actually like make us happy or or somehow um cause like an, an effect on us that is uh connected like what you choose is connected to the value like what like what is actually like value for you in your psychological uh level like in your brain so um all right so i decide to you know learn learn illustration good so i start drawing let's say um a character today that the value is um what those things like make me feel and how many times and how long I spend mm. is going to give me pleasure. And mm. if I put a lot of effort on what I'm doing, I'm going to succeed. Like I'm going to, I'm going to complete the goal. Mm. Not only that, like, because this is just works, but what does in our brain is like, we actually produce like chemicals that's, that's like the like the why or us like we start feeling like different so if i complete my goal right i i kind of like produce these two chemicals and i have the explanation over here like the two those the same are the same but it's a region uh in in their brain that is associated with um like the the executive function and the cognitive control so what the what that when that activity gives us like pleasure we produce dopamine mm. and then um it's it's kind of like you're rewarding like you you completed you now you're you know like your brain is actually like releasing all this uh emotion and feeling that's gonna make you great so i love it Wow. Then, I didn't even, I didn't even see the, well, I mean, I, of course I wouldn't have seen you just clicked out down the different, <laughs> um, different states to kind of explain, I was going to say these words I've, it's kind of like a hierarchy of someone in the chat room. Is it like 
is it like the hierarchy of needs essentially but it's a little bit more than that because it goes into it's kind of like going into the neural different neural different areas regions of the brain almost yes. right that's what you have down there and so i didn't get that until you had that um, little pop-up so that's awesome that was like that's, that's yes there. and and it's really cool because let i let's say that now you're drawing and you're doing like like you're you're investing more time and in that you know that is giving you pleasure and once you finish like the project that you have like everything is just like so connected that's why i like i was starting like saying that um sometimes we we take for granted like how we feel you know like how different stuff like make us feel so th this was it was pretty cool like this one over here is like related to judgment and decision making in it's connected to the value so is if you're o, doing is so ofc the olfactory right like is that what that's short for mm, not sure yes it's kind of like those uh chemical names <laughs> i just would like the, the mm. that would the, be that would be cool that would be cool just kind of like I yes, mean, later to, cool. to bring into the project way later, right? Like this is it's so cool. Like so you're showing us like the kind of the essentials of how this process works, right? These like the, the bones of it and how the structure is. But um, a cool next thing to do this would be like, I want to see the brain and how it's taking that. Yes. In, maybe like that'll just be another. Yeah. Another, like. <laughs> yeah. Another, another, another. Don't, don't, don't worry too much mm. about that. But this is really, really, it truly is like a guide of how, the simplest level of behavior can kind of trickle into your mind and yes. your brain. If, really in cool. the and the and the uh, I mean if you don't enjoy it, like nothing is going to happen. But if you do something as little as it is to that you enjoy and you keep doing it, like you're getting this kind of like chemicals um and 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 um your brain start like processing like different so automatically is going to make you feel motivated so that's a this is, this is like the behind story oh, and wow. then in this section we have the boosters so um this is the first one but let's, let's do the other ones this is my favorite one because and and i actually uh got it like in the, what when i was doing like the the questions I got a similar response, like for uh, three people, I guess. Mm. But this one, uh, for me, uh, has been always like do like a like a list, like small like micro task uh, list, and per per any item that I cross, you know, that I complete. I reward myself somehow, like small, like it can be, I'm gonna have a coffee or I'm gonna order the pizza or I'm going to, you know, like stop and stretch or go for a walk. Like every time that I finish something, I try to to reward the effort that I, that I put there. And our brain loved it. Like it feels that, you know, like it, a lot of people in words like, governments like everyone does like yeah. kind of like this reward uh, sensation just to make people happier mm -hmm. uh, but we can do it internally too for different stuff and and we can like cross a lot of the the list of pending things that we have I love that. and i love your I, I love i actually really love those arrows that you <laughs> <laughs> those are also i mean obviously like rewarding yourself is such a it's so many layers to that, but I'm also loving how you've just created this page as well. Like this is a very rewarding in itself for me to look at. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then a ver, so the other booster screen is change location. And yeah, I mean that means that right. you can travel, it's complicated right now, but and it can it can be smaller than that. I used to and I and I realized this after that I that I found this information. Uh, I usually like start moving my desk around every mm -hmm. couple yeah. months. Yeah. 
just like mm, this window or this wall or you know this plan over here it can be yeah. so small but that actually makes you feel that 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 something changed that something's different and and it boosts your your feelings your motivation so it really but idea. i mean if you um if you can travel like don't doubt it because <laughs> that's that's the better that's the better way for sure so physically physically changing your location is first and then like maybe changing where you sit and come next that's a great idea i know we have everyone was doing that at the beginning of quarantine just like moving around their desks and rearranging their homes and maybe even moving <laughs> like yes. moving where they are i love it and yeah, yeah move, move a plant closer to you maybe <laughs> well i'm the the all the plants lady over <laughs> here <laughs> and the therapists uh make a list it kind of like connects with the first one uh but i guess for me is also one of the the things that I do a lot because uh, I set like the goals, like whatever I want to accomplish per month or per week. And then I divide that like in micro tasks and it's easier like for you to uh, go in and accomplish every, every little thing that like, you feel like if you, today we're going to create two buttons because that's what you had of time I'm doing a, I'm talking about personal projects besides work because um that's that's good I mean you did that today and tomorrow you can do I don't know like two sections or complete something and every time that you again like make uh like cross those those little items um yeah. you feel you feel good you feel that you're close to your to your goal and if you mm -hmm. combine that with the reward you're gonna be just <laughs> perfect love it do you use any um do you use any apps like to keep like yourself on track do you use any like list you know different I, types of, like lists organizationals i love um i love pen and paper to do that i, love I I love to scratch and just like crossing and highlight and, and everything. But it's funny that you asked because um, I'm posting this week something similar, like kind of like creating a prototype of like a planner, like a app planner mm -hmm. uh, concept that I was thinking. But I really, I really enjoy just, I have the ones that I just like, uh, the, the, the notebook that I just like, go crazy scratching and you like do like the micro test and i have mm -hmm. a pretty one agenda that i put my goals <laughs> per week mm -hmm. so it doesn't get like i really i really like enjoy that 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 part yes there's something very cathartic about just writing it down and like going old school with it there are a lot of different uh tools out there i know a lot of people like to use notion or different apps to keep track of your goals but I'm with you. I like pen and paper too. Yeah, and I have it over here. You know, I don't have to open anything. I have it like close to me, and and just uh, it's just like a rewarding sensation that <laughs> you are like crossing something. Okay. I love and the last... that. I love these graphics that you've created alongside these, alongside these motivation boosters. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the, the most. Uh, the graphical section and there there are a lot of um uh, boosters but i just pick four or the five four yes because just wanted to like the the most like i guess important uh that i that i saw or the the most effective that i know i mean it works because i have tried uh and this one is uh, make a playlist. So we'll need music. And this is, I don't know, uh, I don't know, Alexis, what type of music do you want? Uh, or, or, or what do you usually uh, listen to, you know, to get in your song? 
No, oh, yeah. Well, I, I am, I am one of those people that needs. I have so many playlists for so many different moods. Exactly. Yeah, is- so many. But in my work zone, I feel like, um, I feel like I need some like mellow beats, some hip hop. R and B is really just like always kind of mellowed me out. Um, and I'm able to kind of just relax a little bit, but, um, I don't, I'm not one of those people that need, uh, I can work with, uh, people with lyrics in the background. Like I know a lot of people like Julian from last week and you know, Julian, cause he, you guys had a stream together. Uh, Julian needs music that has no words in it when he works. Because he gets maybe like, like, maybe he just gets it. to in the lyrics. And for me, <laughs> I'm, I think it helps because it's like, I'm, I love like talking to people. I'm really good at like working and like talking and like in my mind's needs more, has more things firing when I hear words. So I really like hearing, yeah, like I'm really into R&B and um, sometimes I'll go on YouTube and I'll put on uh, the, one of those live channels. That's like, uh-huh. yes. Yeah, <laughs> those are great. Those are They're great. Yeah, those are great. Sometimes I'll throw on an Adobe Live and work in the background. And I know Adobe Lives usually have like a, like a chill hip hop like kind of beat behind it. Um, so that's that's usually what I work to. Um, yeah. How about you? What do you work to? Or like? Um, with? that's uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie and try <laughs> to. Um, yeah. But I. Sometimes I don't listen to music when I'm working. I don't know. I just, um, sometimes I do. Uh, It's just like, it's something more like about how uh, I feel, I guess. Yes. Um, But because sometimes I just need to be quiet. You know, I don't want to hear anything. I just want to, because I just get in the zone without like any distraction. But then uh, there's also moments uh, that I feel that I cannot. I cannot accomplish that. So I just started like, uh, again, just you, just uh, those uh, live uh, radio, uh, mm-hmm. YouTube, uh, more like the, um, I really like, and I, I feel that it is, um, it makes me chill and go with the flow. Um, the lo-fi hip hop yeah. kind of like vibe. I really Love like it. that. Um, but, I'm asking. Silence all, all, is okay. Silence yes. is good. Like it's there's so much going on in your head. You need silence sometimes. Exactly. But the but all these questions were because I I guess we need also to be aware like the type of vibe that we're consuming because mm. you you can have multiple playlists, right? Like you said, like you mentioned for different stuff like yeah. the way that you need maybe for doing exercise music that is more you know like um, yes but sometimes we have in our playlist uh a little bit uh m- music that is more like kind of like sad or it can make you like go to another place and when we're like looking for motivation i guess that's one of the key because if we if you keep like you know, like moving into that flow, into that vibe. There, there's like sad, like right. I love, I love song that it, <laughs> like, I don't want to lose you, like things like that. You're not going to get like that motivation. And mm-hmm. I remember my mom always used to say that dance was actually something that was as good for the body. That that was something that uh shake too many things inside of you right. and of course i'm hispanic and uh, in my mind it was like i don't want to dance merengue or salsa or reggaeton you know the, because that was the the dance that i had in my mind but then when i started like growing i realized like it can be i don't know it can be arctic monkeys you know it can be yeah <laughs> but you can dance like like no one is watching you like yes like that you're feeling you're feeling that music and so crazy but it works like your body starts like okay i'm ready so i guess there are a couple combinations um of things i love that 
just like, just like food, right? Exactly. Whatever goes into you is going to affect you in some, in some way later on. I love that. Yeah. Oh, well, one of the things that I, a lot of people started listening to in quarantine, they did, um, I read a New York times article about this at the beginning and it was all about what people were listening to, to help them not cope. And people, a lot of people were listening to um, music they'd listened to in high school or in middle school, like music from their childhood or from their, yeah. um, you Makes know, sense. Their, mm -hmm. their early years, right? Because it was so much, so much emotional things happening at the beginning of quarantine. Um, so That's it really so does cool. affect us. It really does affect us. But for the motivation, yeah, it's, it's anybody's kind of, it's how they want to interpret that, those feelings. And I love, I love that you brought that up because it's so... Yeah, there are definitely moments maybe that people really get in there. A music can do a lot to distract as well as to motivate. So yes. That's the part of it. Yes, you and, it was, and you, but... you mentioned it, like now is like the food. And actually yeah. that has a lot to, to do with the way uh, we feel. Like, yeah, well, I was gonna ask the, you know, the chat, the chat's been talking a little bit about music and obviously we wanna hear if there's any, you know, what you're listening to, what really helps motivate you music wise while you're working. Um, Anders says uh, music to with drum and bass, like really <laughs> like, you know, like dubstep, you know, house, something that like helps probably with tempo, right? For some people, right? I know that's a big, a big one for a lot of people. It really just comes down to, yeah, like how does your mind work during those, or maybe what you've always associated with with movement and like creation, um, probably part of that as well. Yeah, every everyone's so different. You just need to like kind of like uh, recognize how you feel with each uh, song or beat or yeah, and, and how do you do you want to feel. I love it. Uh, so so we're going with the brain food. Oh, wow. So what is this section? Um, well, this one, um, I, I I didn't believe on this until actually it started like happening, I guess. Um, or, or or I see that the, that it was real, like before. Um, I wasn't like too like careful about what I was eating. I was mm. like, yeah, just you know, because there there is like also like the the when we say brain food, sometimes it's also we're calling like the pizza or the you know like the things like like the comfort food, you know, like comfort but mm. that that actually does even that is delicious and if you want it and you crave it just have it but this is more like actually uh what we were mentioning like before like the chemicals in your brain like the the properties of each um thing that you actually like put in your body like how it reacts so right for example um the tuna it uh it has like 60 69 70 percent like of the daily dose that we like the, our bodies like needs from vitamin six and when you have like a low um like the that value like low on vitamin six actually uh is conducting to depression so that's it's it's crazy no like your mm. your vitamins are low and you feel depressed but it doesn't it doesn't have to be uh something that is wrong with you right it, it can be something you know like your body is asking you for more uh of those um chemicals or, or components sure and then uh the dark chocolate uh like to have like a dose uh in your in like daily or, or every once in a while yeah. uh it it uh, is it, besides that it's delicious for the people that that likes chocolate um makes you feel um like your your brain start like uh producing more uh dopamine again like with the reward mm -hmm. sensation and 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 you immediately like feel good so also like the the blueberries like the all the anti 
oxy, ox, oxy, help me out with that word. Oxy, <laughs> antioxidants. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Like how are incredible. Like like have it like like a snack like on the on the afternoon like the green tea. There are studies that um, are demonstrating that makes you even smarter. Yeah. I so that. so every I I guess like. I, I, I have like a couple here, but if you guys are interest, interested in, in those things, it's, it's amazing. It's not that you're going to, you're going to stop eating whatever you, you like. It's just to right. add like different stuff that can help your, your body, your brain. And, and so. And effectively motivate you, right? Motivate you and give you like energy. Um, right. To keep going. It's, not, it's one thing to just be motivated. There's another thing to have enough power to continue, right? I love it. So this whole section is around what you eat. Yes, and I'm loving, is that a menu? Is that a menu so that it uh, does do, do selecting one of these um, food kind of change or this description mm -hmm. area down here? I love that. Oh, yeah. So we're starting with the tuna, but yeah, we we can actually I have it uh -huh, like the hover on oh, the nice. states. So when we can when we're like when we start to prototype and connecting, we can actually like change uh, the description of each little thing. Awesome. And this was uh, the kale. <laughs> I I it was so funny because um I I never like in Venezuela you. It's not yeah. something that you like see or, or hear. And I try it here and I was like, oh, this is nice. Feels like, um, tastes like, a, like lettuce, like more or less. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then I, I try like chips. Yeah, kale chips. Yes. And I was like, this is, this is delicious. And then yeah. doing doing that, I realized that um, that has a lot, a lot of um, vitamin K, mm. and that um, actually uh, helps you to uh, improve the the cognitive uh, sensations. So you can mm. be more aware, or concentrate, or um, or or like uh, invest like in whatever you're doing. So I was like, okay, because hey, I just realized of all these things and I start to buy it, to try it, you know? Right. It was a, so uh, I did this uh, kale chips and I was telling my husband, like, you know, like this is brain food. Let's try to, let's try to, to, to eat this as snacks. And I, I baked the, I remember his face was like, why are you, why are you doing baking the, those leaves? Like, <laughs> and I was like, I promise you, this is going to to taste really good because you yeah. don't you don't you don't think that but 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 actually does and he's like when he tried it was like this is amazing like he oh, ate dense. like the the full uh the, the whatever i i did he ate it all and he told me can you make more there you go so we so we're kind of like yeah like playing around and implementing like little things just to to be healthier to feel happier to help uh, ourselves within all the situation that we're living. Mm -hmm. Like basically it's like, we're trying to find a way. Yeah. And I love that you've incorporated that into this guide. You know, it's a really fully holistic view of, of how to keep yourself going, right? We're just essentially machines, right? So it's all about what to keep us going. Um, I was gonna say also, if anybody else, if anybody in the chat's hungry for more inspiration, <laughs> that's my segue, hungry for inspiration. This week we have a daily creative challenge going uh, with Brandon Gross, same as last week. And he's uh, going through some awesome challenges. Uh, for those who don't know the daily creative challenge, I'm sure our girl Voodoo Val in the chat will drop the link for the uh, daily creative challenge for XD. Um, there you can find snippets of projects and ideas and really get your brain working in a different way. If you're hungry for that type of thing, speaking of food, we, the more we talk about food closer to lunch, the more I'm going to like, we're going <laughs> to, I need to go yes. eat something, but um, might as well stay on topic for the food. I, I just love the way you've kind of 
set up these, these menu options from page to page, you know, really it's a different one with each section. And um, what was the, how do you, how do you decide how you're going to compose a page like this from, and from the brain food to the, um, to the tips above or to the rewards above? Do you mean like the like the order like the order of the uh, like like how you've decided for the motivation boosters you're you're kind of um, going from page to page within that section you're kind of switching out to this brain food um, you're kind of doing more of a selection type layout uh, yeah how do you how do you decide on your interaction models for each of these sections um, well at first for the for the structure. Um, like I start I try to to between all those like insights and and like research uh, to come up with a story. Like we yeah. were like we were um, like talking a little bit before, like a storytelling. Like right, uh, just like like that. Like you enter and like it's something that you have to work. Like how how are we are we gonna do it? Like you're not alone. Like why it happened. Mm -hmm. Be like beside, like behind the um, the the problem itself, like how like, actually like it's a structure in our in our body, how you can like approach it, and then like the food is just like kind of like something. It's like a like a plus, I guess, because yes. this is not something that you know that that you actually like eat, but it helps. So I just wanted to to, right. I to see. kind of like organize that, and then for the design, uh, right now because we're doing it here, uh, but I basically when I'm designing, I design like that, like this. So I put this in my other uh -huh. screen, and I'm seeing like all the like how like kind of like the spacing is working. And and since I have these elements that right now in here are like static, but I don't I don't have any in here. I just wanted to to know how it's going to look, you know, with I with the elements, uh, with the different with the different sections, like how it's going to kind of like um, merge the design. I see. So I see. those are the. I I think this is really helpful. I don't know if, if, if it's happened to you, uh, but when you see, like you can create something, but then when you see it on the screen, you, you feel like something's off. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you see it live, when you see the website ready, like do you feel like, and, and besides the try to follow your grid and it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be pixel perfect, more like you can, you can play with the eye in proportion. Um, Obviously, for a developer, it's easy if you go pixel perfect. Yeah. Uh, but um, but yeah, kind of like I I, I love to have like that window open because allows me to see like no, there's too much space. Like something's off here. If I put the the window smaller, I'm gonna see how it's going to react. So I kind of like plan around that. I love that. I love that. Really wanting to see it. That's such an animator point of view to do it's such a good animation like tip right because you're not yes they have some elements that are like static but as a whole when you view a website when you view when you come into any digital space you're, you're like you're moving through it fairly quickly so like I love and I've noticed the way you've designed you go you zoom in and you zoom out a lot like it's a yes, lot of zooming out it. right just to it's kind of see it. it but then you okay. also keep that window open it's such a great uh yeah yeah I've noticed that yeah, I like yeah, to so see I can see, how, I can see how you're how you're kind of doing the story and then these larger kind of menu options like um, the mood boosters, right? You're like, I you really want that front and center um, and really want people to take those in like this big way. Yeah, that's why bring, the, yeah. the illustrations, that's why I like the color combination. So it's like something that you need to stop and see and, and try to, you know, digest like a little bit. That's so great. Um, I love that. And then you can tell there's these elements that are kind of smaller, like this map, your 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 kind of map of the hierarchy of of things. It's really zoomed in, right? So you need to like take a moment to like really look at it. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's it's these little tips and tricks. I feel like um 
I feel like yeah, that, great... those those things that you learn with time, but like yeah. it's it's a valuable like something that you that you share. I I also do that uh, with the preview mode open when I'm animating the in prototyping, especially we'll see tomorrow when we are doing this. So you can you you know what like what you're changing you're seeing it like in real time kind of it helps a lot. Definitely be fun. Uh, okay, so after the food, right? Um, it's kind of like when you're on, you're doing a landing page. Now you feel that you need to give testimonials to your your user, like uh, like to share those reviews uh, that makes everything more like uh, that, that that's something that you can actually like believe. Mm -hmm. So this section. Uh, it will be for you to share like everyone like the same way that we were asking on the chat and that um, I asked uh, in my social media is to share what motivates you let me grab this little asterisk that I like and I, I grab a couple insights that people were sending and I'm going to put it here. So we have already our 20. So this is kind of like the social proof, like the... Mm -hmm. That what every every people like every person does to get inspiration. Let me. I have my notes over here. Okay. Do you know Julia? She was she she's doing the the live. She's my girl. Uh, she was doing the live uh, the daily okay. creative challenge. Oh. Yeah, with illustrator. Yes. No, I've not, I've not met. There's not a lot of over, I feel like I don't get to overlap into the other different streams as much because I'm just strictly XD, but um, everyone seems so awesome. She, she's your, she's your girl. Yes. She, nice. um, we, we met um, through, through the, the, the um, uh, community and then she moved to Miami. So we, oh, we nice. personally met, but I mentioned to her, uh, if you haven't seen the, the daily creative challenge and you're interested in Illustrator, I recommend it. But this feedback is from her. <laughs> this this uh, little uh, thought. So she's the first one over here. Oh, nice. It's, I love that. I love that it's from an, another Adobe Live person. Yes. Um, and uh, actually she, um, a lot of people, I, I guess like we also creative and it's kind of like we feel and 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 we, we, we're so passionate about uh, what we create. And if, yeah. if people like like it or, or how, how it's making and everyone feels or if the client like it, right? So a lot of these insights uh, are, comments were about that like to feel that your work is value to mm -hmm. feel that um that what you're creating is actually uh like it has a purpose so i guess us as creative people you kind of like need that incentive so if you are if you have an agency <laughs> of you like please make your creative team to know that you value them and they're doing an amazing job even though uh, if they didn't complete the task. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that's I mean motivation is in leadership is a whole other branch of um, the whole different science into itself, right? Being a being a design leader, being a creative leader of sorts is, it's hard. It's hard in terms of motive, especially when we're talking about motivation with creatives. One thing to keep yourself motivated, other thing to make sure like you're receiving a little bit of motivation when you're still like, um, maybe not a senior, you're still junior and learning. So it takes a lot to 
Um, I know a lot of people that watch the daily, um, Adobe live stream are sometimes on the more, you know, early start in their career, trying to get motivation and, and more and spark the creativity and um, yeah, so that's an important one. Yeah, it's because sometimes you feel that, you know, you're not enough or you're not good enough yeah. for the job. That's and it's job. it's not about that. It's, you can do it. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Don't well, worry. Also, also, everybody feels that. Like even yes. at some like point. forever. Yeah. I mean, there's also people who have been doing this for years that, again, we talked about it earlier, you know, like everything can change or maybe a, a concept around design changes, right? And like, um, you're, you're kind of faced with, what am I doing? Do I know what I'm doing? Very common to feel yes. like you don't know what you're doing because creativity and creative industry is hard. It's a lot of like, you know, making sure you are not just up to date with knowing what's going on, but also keeping yourself creatively sparked and motivated. And that's why this project speaks to me so much. And I think we'll speak, we'll speak to a lot of people. Well, I, I, I really, um, I love that you mentioned that and, and it really makes me happy because, um, because yeah, I, I started this project looking for the same where if, yeah. if, if what I found, what I create can help someone else is amazing. It's that's, that's a purpose. Uh, I'm, I'm just more than happy with that. Absolutely. And especially Absolutely. after, um, so in the chat, might, they might know, they might not know, but this streaming was like, it was going to be three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And and finding the motivation in creating this to present you, I got a I had a, an emergency surgery and we have to like mm -hmm. postpone it. So that's mm -hmm. some things that actually also like impact in you and yeah. and your motivation like goes down or you feel like oh my god I'm gonna let everyone down and it's okay just take care of yourself and then keep going. The doors yeah. hopefully. <laughs> will be open for you when you're, when you're ready. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, you know, we're using as creatives in that, in this industry, you're using, people think it's, you know, it's not just all on the computer. It's your full, it's a full body experience. It's your heart, it's your mind, it's your, uh, it's a lot of things. It's yeah. mental, it's physical, you know, creative, digital creation, creative work in general. It's, it's a craft. And so my teachers in art school would say like, um, they're like, nobody comes out of the womb knowing how to draw or knowing how to create. Uh, like these are for like drawing classes. They'd be like, nobody like just does it. Like everybody starts with like a weird shape or a weird circle and, and goes on to be able to develop a portrait. You know, it's not, it's one of those things where it's like, it's so physical. It's just all about practice for this work. And we forget that because everything is online and it seems like things come out of nowhere I mean, quickly. Yes. And then you see there's uh, amazing um, people that have this skill to draw live in the iPad yeah. and you just like, I, I, well, I guess I don't have that, <laughs> yeah. but, but it doesn't matter. You, you, you can learn. It's, it's something that you can train. I, yeah. uh, it's funny uh, when I was, when I was um, going to decide what I was going to study, like before craft design, that I told my mom, uh, she was fully support, supportive. supportive. Um, she was amazing. But at the same time, uh, she was like, but you don't know how to draw. Because I, I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know how to. And and this is kind of like about this, this last well almost last section um because yeah. i didn't know com comfy let's see comfy dance sorry <laughs> um i didn't know how to but i figured it out um it's not that i can like create something realistic but i kind of like define my style with a lot of time like it took me a long time because I started like trying to copy what I was, you know, what I like to do, what right. I like to create. I want to have like that skill level. Um, 
but then uh, I just let it go kind of I start like feeling that the that I, I I was doing it like in a different way and and there right. were so many so many styles so many ways to do things so many um like in, in design like you can um uh, like learn basically uh, about colors about typography about so many things that um if you think so if you doubt of yourself that's that's the worst part like so that's the worst enemy for creative for like the, your creativity um but if you if you're confident that you like that you're not the best that you're maybe not good but you will you will like yeah. it's going to happen mm, like sooner yeah. or later mm -hmm. well i love and also in the also in the opposite sense like if you think it and it's a not a positive thought it's going to happen right like always exactly you know, whatever you think is going to happen probably is going to happen so I know I love what you said about um finding your style and um you know a lot of people have been told early on when they start like actually just start like copying and that's normal for creation yeah, and creative and work and art right just like even like the great um, painters right you you copy works you 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 copy technique and so if you act, you know, you, maybe you copy a, a well-known, you know, website to kind of understand the composition and layout and, and different um, interaction techniques. Um, but I love what you said around, like, uh, at the end of the day, what you realize is, like, there's room for, um, for your style, whatever that may be, and however long they may take you to craft and hone. There, it's, it's true. I think that's the best thing to kind of take away from somebody who maybe whose style isn't what you see out there right now you know what you what isn't on you know what isn't the uh, the classic looking style of ux or ui or any type of creative and by any creative measure at that point like there's room for there's always room for a new style there's room to elaborate and to change um yeah i like i guess just like just enjoy enjoy the process <laughs> enjoy and you know I, I, when you're there you're not enjoying at all but just yeah. remember that and that everything's going to be <laughs> it's going to be fine so make it happen right oh man yeah i so also make, have to say like i feel like i feel like so we're, we're coming we're coming towards the end we have about like five minutes left with you for this for today i'm so excited that we have a whole nother day with you um <laughs> but before i mean so much we have some time to wrap for sure. But if anybody is kind of so is out there, if you're not following Andrea on Instagram, go follow her on Instagram. Her Instagram's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> I love your Instagram. I wanted to like make sure that was that was highlighted somewhere on the stream. And like just go talk about inspiration. Thank um, you. Thank you. There's a lot of really awesome fun like AR for all of all of all of your AR moments in your Instagram. And I've been I've been a little bit lost, but uh, we're going to uh, come up with a little uh, cool things. Um, and this week, uh, next week, yes, we're launching a XD uh, contest to create micro interactions. So if you guys uh, wanted to win some XD goodies, just make sure to stay tuned, and I'll I'll share more tomorrow. So you guys uh, can know, but just follow and just be there. I'll let you know it's going to happen soon. And the good thing it. is we're doing this the last part. So we're good to go for tomorrow. Wow. It's almost like you've timed this perfectly. It's almost like you're a <laughs> professional or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was looking to the time and see, okay, we can, we can yeah. do this. I can, oh, I yeah. can talk more. I can, I can let them know the, that insight. Oh, I love that. So, yeah. I mean, if anybody, I love that you have your own, um, you know, established kind of like following starting to happen. And like, sometimes those, there's a lot of new people kind of out kind of talking about design. And um, so anybody who's, I love the idea of someone like coming from your Instagram and finding you here and seeing you like get to like, just spend two hours with you and being like, yeah, <laughs> actually she's really cool. Not just her Instagram's cool, but she's cool. So, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I had an amazing um, couple hours with you, Alexis. 
So I'm, oh, I'm so excited to, to, to continue tomorrow and to show you guys how this is going to move because it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to animate these lines, the ball like coming in, uh, all this, all these sections going to connect. Um, and yeah, some interactions. We're going to go deep in that. I'm excited too. And tomorrow is going to be awesome. Not just here, but for the, all of the live streams tomorrow in general, um, we'll be, you know, Belinda is coming back with lettering, the lettering live stream. Um, we're going to come back to Andrea's and do some awesome prototyping. Definitely check, come back, definitely come back and check us out tomorrow. D2 is always the most like exciting of all. Day one's really chill, but day two is going to be awesome. Um, Oh, and then stick around after this stream because we have the XD creative challenge, daily creative challenge happening. So get on With it. With Brandon, yes. With and Brandon. he's amazing. He's, he's, he's really cool. Love his setup. His, he's the, one of the best, I think. He's live. I love him. <laughs> exactly. And so That's we'll just, you. we'll keep, uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. And thank you so much for joining us today on Adobe Live. And, uh, you know, I think, I think you did great today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. All right. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye, Thank everyone. you. Thank you.